Okay, so now I want to show you the pen tool. Um, okay, so the pen tool, it's just right here. You can actually make a point, like so, and then make another point, okay, like so. And it's similar to the polygonal lasso tool, except for uh, the pen, you can actually let go and move around and put a point anywhere you want to. And when you have a path created like this, there's a bunch of things you can do with that path. Okay, check it out. You can uh, fill the path, meaning fill it with color. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the foreground color, which is this black color right here, and fill it. I'm going to undo that. I still have my path here. I can right click. I can stroke path, and that's just going to make the path a line. What do we want to use? The pencil tool. We use the brush tool. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just click OK, and it made this path. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and undo that. I'm going to right click and go to make selection. Okay, um, we'll have it at the feather at zero pixels. Okay, and now I've made this selection. Okay, and of course we can copy and by hitting Command C and paste Command V, go up to the Move tool, and I've copied that selection out. Okay, so that's using the Pen tool. Um, let's see here, some nice tips with the Pen tool. Um, if you make a point and then make another point and then hold your click and then drag, you can actually work with curves. Okay, and you can, you can. It's really nice to be able to go around round and strange shapes like this. All right, so that's fantastic. And then we'll make a selection and hit OK, and there we go. Um, whoops. Copy paste. All right, and so now I have two Junos. Okay, now I tend to use the pen tool a lot, and I will actually get way up close to an image, and you can really get accurate with the different complex things you're cutting out. Okay. And I tend to actually use layer mask with this and do non-destructive cutouts, and I'll show you that a little bit later. But for now, just know that the pen tool is, all these different options right here all have to do with the pen tool itself. Okay, so I can actually go like this and create, you know, whoops, this area that I've cut out. And then what if I want to point from between here and here, I can actually select this uh, add an anchor point and just come right here and add another point. Okay, and as you can see, that's another point that I can use. Okay, what if I decided that was a silly thing to do? I can go to the delete anchor point and click right on it and delete that anchor point, all right? I can also uh, convert. So see this area here, it does not have any handles sticking out. I can go to it, click and drag, and now I've got handles, okay? And again, right click, make selection, right click, fill, and we'll fill it this time with the background color, which is right here, or check this out, we can pick color and then we can choose a new color. Okay, and so we'll fill it with blue. Okay, great. That's how we use the pen tool.